Hello everyone. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedules to uh, watch the videos that we present here on this platform. I usually take some time out of my own busy schedule to do some research uh, for my own personal use and to put it out there to inform our community as we seek to empower Africa and the, the, the world in general. My name is Emmanuel Ngwakongwi. Um, I'm a data scientist, an independent consultant. I'm delighted to have uh, you once more to continue our conversation on uh, the massive opportunities that present themselves for uh, 2021 and the, the next decade in general. So I think uh, you will like what I have for you, so stick around. Before we actually get into the content, I will ask that you may please subscribe to the channel. Uh, this is uh, a way of helping us grow. I will ask that you like this video and uh, hit the notification uh, bell so that you may not miss any other uh, video that we put out there because we devote a lot of time to research information and feed our community of, of viewers. So thank you so much. So today, as I mentioned, uh, the topic would be on the electric vehicles, uh, which is one of the five massive opportunities that I presented. I would like to highlight an early adapter that interests me so much and uh, it could serve as an example for others uh, in Africa in particular and the world in general. I mentioned in the previous video the electric vehicle sector uh, and talked about the fact that it now involves so many companies uh, aside from Tesla, it involves Neo, Li Auto, Xpeng, Nikola, and so on and so forth. We've got uh, Apple and Microsoft getting involved. So I'm not going to repeat the content because it's, it's already been presented in, to you in the other video. But what interests me today is really to talk about uh, Rwanda. Rwanda, an early adopter. You know, uh, Rwanda has come a long way. We, we all know the circumstances that they went through several decades ago. Uh, building on those difficulties, they've really, they're really doing uh, a lot of things uh, to facilitate business transactions, improving livelihoods of the indigenous, uh, going towards universal health, and so on and so forth. But let me not deviate from the topic of today. I just wanted to, to mention the systems that and the effort that they are putting in place to, to lead the way for uh, adoption of useful technologies for the rest of, of the continent, that the rest of the continent can follow. So I'm very delighted reading through uh, news items and find that uh, the Rwanda Environment uh, Management Authority has actually bought their first electric vehicle. And uh, they hope with this initiative to use uh, this vehicle for, for their day-to-day -day operations. So as I mentioned earlier, uh, the electric vehicles come with new ways of powering them, either using hydrogen energy, uh, I mean fuel cells. So the, the REM, Rwanda Environment Management Authority, have also installed a charging station in one of their in their head office at the Kachiru, as you can see up here on the video. So, what does this tell us? This tells us that where there is a will, there is a way. Uh, Rwanda is setting this example. They've they've shown interest in uh, in using uh, even motorbikes that will rely on charging stations to power them and they are now moving towards the electric vehicle sector. So this is very encouraging for Africa and the world in general. We know that carbon dioxide emissions uh, account for over 24% of, of all emissions globally as a result of uh, fuel combustion from petrol and, and diesel engines. And so adopting such clean technology is, is something worth encouraging. And we hope that the authorities that be 
uh, Rwanda and Africa in general, they will follow with uh, uh, policies that will facilitate acquisition of, of these technologies uh, for uh, the people out there to have better lives, quality of air, and so on and so forth. Uh, by doing so, we, we, we have an improved environment to live in. I know that purchasing power could be an, be an issue, but with this kind of examples, it tells us that there is a way to do things. Some of the policies that can be looked at in the future could be uh, enacting policies that, that say reduce or laws that reduce uh, import custom duty tax on, on cars as this. We know that uh, Volkswagen is assembling cars in Rwanda already. Uh, could this be one of those things that they incorporate in their business plan? So it's, it's really something worth celebrating. Once more, check out this green station. Really beautiful, nice car. I don't know from which of the, the, the companies, EV companies that they bought this, but it really doesn't matter. It just shows that this can be done. At this level, it's, it's, it's government. We, we hope that in the future, this will trickle down to individuals. So I just thought I'd celebrate this news with you. And not only talking about the EV vehicle, but you know, as I mentioned earlier, we will associate the income opportunities with these technologies. So what are they? You have the companies that are developing these vehicles that you can do your own due diligence and be involved in one way or another through a, uh, as a shareholder, you know. At the same time, you can also participate in, in, in a, uh, as a shareholder with a company that's developing the batteries to, to power these vehicles or other uh, uh, services that will come with it. The installation of charging stations and so on and so forth is going to create jobs. Uh, so the opportunity is just enormous. And so I hope that uh, we can build on this to improve our environments and tap into the opportunities that are coming from this sector. It's massive and it's just going to keep growing. So that is the news for today. I, I hope you can digest it. Some of you have been asking uh, questions on how to get involved. Uh, but before I go, actually, I will leave you with this gift for today, little gift for today. And that has to do with one of the companies that is involved in the uh, fuel cell production. It is called Plock Incorporated. It has the ticker symbol for this company is PLUG. PLUG. So if you are looking to own part of these companies that is involving in the fuel cell production that has a lot of growth potential. This is one of the PLUG. You can look up the, 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 the ticker symbol, do your due diligence, talk to an investment advisor if you're interested in and see how to get involved. Okay, just as an addition, this is the company that signed a memorandum of understanding with Renault company in France on a 50-50 basis to produce commercial EV vehicles and so there is huge potential you can tap from this. Uh, the purpose of this uh, video is not, is not as investment advice, it's not to be... Uh, the purpose of this video is just to share the information that is available out there and to tell you what I'm doing is not intended to serve as investment advice. I'm not an investment uh, advisor, but you can use it and see how you can tap into some of these benefits. Once more, I look forward to meeting you again on the channel. Uh, please subscribe, hit the notification bell and like the video. Um, have a great day. Bye-bye.